psychiatry uh, post traumatic stress disorder is diagnosed after 4 weeks as per dsm 4 and uh, in that you will have re experiencing flashbacks nightmares avoidance hyper arousal emotional numbing then treatment will be traumatic event ke liye single session intervention debriefing is not required if it is less than 4 weeks then you do watchful waiting if in case of se- uh, severe cases trauma focused cbt eye movement desensitization reprocessing is done drugs they are not routinely used venlafaxine or ssri sertraline can be used uh, severe cases may respiridone as per nice guideline prazosin can reduce nightmares acute stress disorder first 4 weeks post trauma uh, it can be death or injury the treatment first is cbt and then second line is benzodiazepine there are intrusive thoughts there is dissociation uh, dissociation there are negative mood there is avoidance and there is hyper arousal <coughs> so avoidance up a uh, uh, hyper arousal and intrusive intrusive thoughts are similar to post traumatic stress disorder but the only additional form uh, uh, symptoms are dissociation negative mood schizophrenia as per scheidner's first rank symptoms are auditory hallucination thought disorder passivity delusion theek hai so epidemiology is important in this case if parent is affected then relative risk is 7.4 If the person is black Caribbean ethnicity, relative risk is five point four. In case of migration, two point nine. Urban living people, two point four. Cannabis, one point four. Monozygotic twins, the risk here is fifty percent. It's not relative risk; it's risk. Parents is ten to fifteen percent. Relative risk is seven point five, but risk is ten to fifteen percent. So this is important. sibling the risk is uh, 10% and there if there's no association or family history 1% how will you diagnose schizophrenia if you've got these disorders uh, this these symptoms if there are more than or equal to two symptoms and one of them should be out of these three those are delusions hallucinations disorganized speech there has to be one out of these three apart from this there should be catatonic behavior negative symptoms so out of this should be present for more than 6 months and one month should be in the last 6 months so then you will di- diagnose schizophrenia the first line treatment is of course oral or typical antipsychotics you do cbt in all patients of schizophrenia monitor cardiovascular symptoms theek hai poor prognosis in schizophrenia if there's a strong family history if there is a strong family history there is gradual uh, the the the, uh, the the disease progression is gradual if the patient has low iq if there are prodromal phase of social withdrawal then lack of obvious precipitants so all these will lead to poor prognosis in schizophrenia Now we come to postpartum mental health problems: baby blues, postnatal depression, and puerperal psychosis. Baby blues present in sixty to seventy percent, three to seven days followed by following birth. This is most common primary. The patient, the mother is anxious, tearful, and irritable. Postnatal depression present in ten percent. This occurs one min- after one month, and peaks after peaks at three month. So the clinical features are same as depression. Now in both these cases, uh, only reassurance and support is necessary. But if in case of postnatal depression, if the patient is not recovering with reassurance and support, then you will give a trial of CBT, SSRI. In this SSRI, you give paroxetine and sertraline. These are secreted in breast milk, not harmful to children. Puerperal psychosis is present in point two percent. It's in the first two three weeks following birth. there there are severe mood swings there is disorganized perception in this cases okay you have to admit the patient 25 to 50% recurrence risk in following pregnancies will be there
Now we come to our alcohol withdrawal. ठीक है So in this case, what happens? The chronic alcohol, uh, in chronic alcohol holics there is increase in gamma, which inhibits the CNS. ठीक है and inhibits the N NMDA type glutamate, which is a uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter. Uh, so uh in this case the cro in cron in alcohol withdrawal this increase in the gamma is lost okay so there is no uh stimulation of cns so this will actually stimulate the nmda type glutamate receptors so what will happen in 6 to 12 hours after chronic alcohol withdrawal uh tremor sweating tachycardia anxiety will occur 36 hours it will peak after 72 hours there can be delirium tremens this can be up to 2 to uh, 72 hours or 2 to 4 days after last drink so there are cause tremor confusion delusion auditory and visual hallucination fever and tachycardia okay so how will you treat this patient with history admit until stable first line benzodiazepine chlorodiazepoxide or diazepam in case of liver failure, you give lorazepam. Third, you can give carbamazepine as, as well for alcohol withdrawal. Unexplained symptoms, there, there are no organic cause. So one is somatization disorder. In this case, the patient will have multiple symptoms and it will be more than or equal to two years. Nothing and nobody can reassure them. They can no amount of test and no amount of no uh, uh, reassurance can treat these patients. Illness, anxiety, disorder, serious disease or cancer. <clears throat> they feel that they have serious disease or some sort of cancer. So this word will always be there in the question. Munchausen syndrome, factitious disorder. Consciously feigns the reports. Okay? Malingering. They consciously feign the report to seek maternal material gain. Here, there is no uh, uh, intention of seeking material gain. It's just their nature. Conversion disorder, loss of motor or sensory function. Okay, la bella indifference, indifference to apparent disorder. So they have no idea of this loss of motor or sensory function. Dissociation disorder, <coughs> um, suggestive of amnesia, fugue, stupor okay so these are the unexplained disorders suicide risk factors hazard ratio uh, male it is 2 if there's some history of suicide 1.7 alcohol or drug use 1.6 mental illness depression or schizophrenia 10 percent suicide risk chronic disease increasing age unemployment isolation especially lonely people unmarried divorced widowed all these patients are very likely to have uh, suicidal thoughts protective thoughts are family support children and religious belief personality disorder cluster a odd eccentric so in this you have paranoid these are preoccupied with conspirational beliefs schizoid emotionally cold Schizotypical old beliefs and magical thinking. Cluster B dramatic, emotional or erratic. Antisocial criminal. Borderline emotionally unstable. Recurrent suicidal. Histrionic center of effect, attention. Narcissistic grandiose sense of self importance. Narcissistic, there is grandiose sense of self importance. Cluster C anxious and fearful. Uh, in that you have obsessive, compulsive, okay, perfectionism, avoidant fear of criticism, dependent difficulty making everyday decision. So treatment is dialectical uh, behavioral therapy in all these cases. What are the syndromes? Athela syndrome, this pathological jealousy. Cotard syndrome, patient believes him or a body part is dead. Okay. Uh, then D. Clarenbold syndrome, erotomania, a famous person is in love with them or her. 
Charles Burnett syndrome, persistent complex hallucination and clear conscious due to visual impairment, very common in lonely old people with visual disturbances. Fragoli syndrome, multiple people are all the same person who is constantly changing their appearance. OCD, obsessive and plus compulsion. 2 to 3% of normal population will have OCDs. Treatment, mild CBT or exposure and re response prevention moderate you do you give an ssri flu exertant for body dysmorphic disorders or more intensive cbt you can give <laughs> severe cases mein ssri plus cbt if it is effective then you continue for 12 months if it is ineffective you have to try another kosakoff syndrome theek hai so, patients with Wernicke uh, syndrome who have nystagmus, ophthalmoplegia and ataxia will eventually lead to Korsakoff. There is thiamine deficiency, hemorrhage and mammillary bodies of the hypothalamus and medial thalamus. There is antograde amnesia plus retrograde amnesia and confabulation. Mania, functional impairment of more than or equal to 3 of the following any duration in case of admission or more than for one week so there can be distractibility impulsivity grandiors flight of ideas psychological activity or psychosis increase in the goals decrease in the sleep talkative so you hypomania and mania Hypomania is usually less than 7 days and it has to be more than or equal to 4 consecutive days. It does not impair functional capacity. There are no psychotic symptoms. There are no hospital required. Mania does increase, increase, increase or equal to 7 days. It does impair the functional capacity. It has psychotic symptoms and it is required. Hospital is required. Mood, speech, behavioral. Mood may there is increase uh, in the mood and the patient is irritable. Speech, flight of ideas, behavioral, insomnia, loss of inhibition and there is increase in the appetite. Theek hai? Behavior, there is insomnia, loss of inhibition and increase in the appetite. Speech, there is flight of ideas. Mood, there is increase in the mood and the patient is irritable. So all these things will be there. Generalized anxiety disorder. How will you treat it? First you will educate and monitor. Then you will give low intensity psychological uh, intervention. So non-fast. What is I don't know. Self-help individual guided. Psychedelic uh, psychoeducation group. Okay. If this fails, then high in intensity psychological intervention with CBT, applied relaxation, drugs like sertraline, other SSRI, you can give pregabalin. If this is not there, then high specialist input. Patients on drug, weekly follow-up. Why? Because there is increased risk of suicidal thinking and self-harm. Not only in generalized anxiety, but in any case. Depression versus dementia. So depression will have a very short history. It will be rapid. There will be weight loss and there will be sleep disturbance. Poor memory. They will be reluctant to take tests. They will be disappointed with the results. The many mental tests will be variable. Global memory loss. Recent. Uh, okay, so this is dementia. <laughs> short history rapid weight loss sleep disturbance poor memory reluctant to take test disappointed with result mmsc is variable global memory loss and uh, uh, there will be recent memory loss with depression so this is all dementia eating disorders <coughs> bulimia nervosa binge eating and intentional vomiting will be there in this case or other purgatives will be used like laxative, diuretics, exercising. The BMI is usually normal. Once a week for three months they do it. There will be rustle sign like dorsal hand colossus will be there due to purging the vomit. 
then treatment refer for specialist care in all cases. Nervosa focus 